Hi everyone, this is Chotsna here from Lost in Colors. Welcome back to my channel and in today's tutorial I am going to share how to make uh, pigments from rocks. Now, uh, natural pigments have been used since prehistoric times. This is nothing new. Our society today is so disconnected from the natural world. So why don't we just uh, pause, uh, take a step back and connect to the roots and explore this ancient technique of making natural pigments from resources found on our landscape. So let's begin. I recently forgot some uh, pigmented rocks, uh, which are hematites and ochre in a national park um, that we went a um, couple of weeks ago. So before I make paints from rocks, I wash the rocks thoroughly so as to remove any dirt or grime sticking on them or any organic matter. I let these rocks dry completely in the sun before I proceed. So we're going to pick one store rock and will make pigment out of it today. So before you proceed, you make sure that you have a safety um, gear on like a dust mask and um, safety glasses. So you could either uh, break the rock by placing it between a thick sheet of canvas or an old magazine. I am working on my balcony, so I'm using a thick sheet underneath to protect the tiles. And we're gonna break this rock. Um, so it's very soft and it reveals a very beautiful oxidized iron uh, or yellow color. So it's really amazing. So I continue to uh, break the rock into smaller pieces um, till they are small enough to be easily managed in the mortar and pestle for the bashing and muddling process. So um, they're still a little big, so I'm gonna break them into a little much finer pieces. So I like the size that I have now. Um, so I'm gonna take a small quantity of this um, um, rock with a bit of fine powder that is also present. And I'm gonna further uh, muddle it and, and also use some bashing to break those little uh, pieces into powder. So um, this process still produces a great amount of pigment that you could still use. So I just use a, a, a parchment paper and uh, separate the coarse particles from the fine uh, pulverized um, rock. And um, you could use the pigment that you get um, as it is, but I prefer the levigation process, uh, which is just putting the pigment into um, a glass jar containing water. So what happens is when you agitate the water, the smaller and lighter particles of pigment float and they can be transferred to um, a new container. And the heavier particles they settle down, which is dirt or clay present in the rock. The next step is to filter the, the solution containing pigment. You could even allow the water containing pigment to evaporate on its own. But in this uh, tutorial, I'm using a coffee filter. So once the water has drained, um, it leaves behind the fine pigment particles trapped onto the filter paper or the, uh, the coffee filter. So I'm just going to lay it flat um, on the surface. Um, and you will see that the, um, the pigment, which looks really beautiful, is um, collected here. So I'm going to let it dry in the sun uh, because it's much easier to collect the pigment once it's dried, uh, the paper has dried. So all you do is just scrape it from the surface. You could even grind the, the pigment which is dried and collect it in the jar but I just prefer to just scrape it off and collect it in my jar and I grind the pigment only when I need to make paint. So there you have it. You have made a beautiful natural pigment from um, a piece of rock. So uh, rocks are like um pages of a history book where every rock has um, 
story to tell. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, kindly leave your uh, comments below and I'll see you again in my next tutorial. Until then, goodbye for now.